Okay, looking at compound interest, we want to be able to calculate the future value, same as we calculated S when we looked at simple interest. So we're looking at 8.2. This is the future value for a compound interest problem. So we have a timeline just like we had before for simple interest, but instead of having P and S, we have the present value and the future value. This is our indication where this was simple interest. We now have compound interest. We expect a different formula. But we've already calculated in, in our introduction, we say our future value is equal to one, or sorry, present value times one plus i to the n. Well, the one thing we need to be able to calculate is a proper n. And so we say our n, our value for n, is equal to the number of years times the number of compoundings per year. So we'll just get straight into a problem to, uh, to do the example. And we have a problem that says, what is the future value? So we'll do question two. So page 283, number two. It says, what is the future value of $8,500 after five and a half years if it earns 9.5% compounded quarterly. So again, we have the same drawing that we always did for, for simple interest. We say we're gonna take $8,500. We're gonna invest $8,500 here. We're gonna wait for a duration of five and a half years, earning 9.5% quarterly and we want to know what this value is. And we're not going to use the value of x, we're going to say that's a future value. Well, we have to do a couple of calculations first. So we know that our future value is equal to our present value, one plus i to the n, but we don't know what i is and we don't really know what n is. So calculate that. First of all, we know that i is equal to j over m. So our periodic interest rate is our nominal rate over compoundings per year. So our nominal interest rate was 9.5%. So 9.5% over quarterly is four times per year. So then we have our i. We still need our n. We know our n is equal to number of years. So we said this was five and a half years. So 5.5 years times the compoundings per year. M, sorry, years times M, okay? So 5.5, four times a year, well, 5.5 times four, this is 22 quarters. Okay, so 22 times between when we invested it, we get interest on interest, so we break this up if we're doing a simple interest problem, we'd break this up into 22 little divisions, and every one we're gonna start getting interest on interest, which is a lot of work. But we can use a formula to do that. So we can say our future value is equal to our present value, our 8,500, times one plus, well our i was 9.5 divided by four, 2.375%. As we put that in the calculator, that's 0 0.02375 to the n. Sorry, not to the n, to the 22. 
So our future value is equal to, put this into the calculator, 8500 times 1 plus 0 0.02375 to the exponent 22 14,245.74. So our $8,500 turned into $14,000. Well, it's still a lot of work. This is still a lot of putting values into a calculator. And I have a financial calculator which has all the values here. So let's use the financial calculator. Because we're going to invest this, because we're investing this value, we're going to take a look at all the things and we're going to say our present value is equal to negative 8500. We put in a negative value because we'd have to pay $8500 to get some value later. So if we're going to put money in, it's going to be $8500. So in our calculator, we're going to say 8500 negative and just store that in as a present value. Now we have all this work that we already did before of i and n. So we just say, well, say 9.5 divided by 4, 2.375. So do that again, 9.5 divided by 4, 2.375. And we're going to put that into our i per y. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 5.5 years times 4, so our 22, put that into n. Now we're just going to compute a future value. So our i per y was 2.375. Our n was 5.5 times 4, which was 22. And so our, we're going to compute the future value to be 14,245.74, exactly the same value that we had up here using the formula. So you can use the formula or you can use the financial calculator, your choice.